In this video, I'm going to give you a few examples on how to graph an inequality. So I want to talk about the solid dot versus the open dot that we kind of pre uh, referenced in the previous video. Um, but for uh, this box right here, if the endpoint of the graph is part of the solution, what we want to have is a solid filled in dot all the way. And if the endpoint of the graph is not a part, of your solution set, then what you're going to do is draw an open dot, so it's going to look like that. So you're going to circle the number and not fill it in if it's not part of the solution. But if it says equal to on the inequality sign, you would circle that number and fill it in to show that it is part of your solution set. So I'll give you a few examples of each of these. For this example, it says x is greater than 3, so I'm going to find on my number line the number 3 and circle it. Now, it does not say equal to, so I'm going to leave that open. And x is greater than, so we're going to shade to the right. For x is less than negative 1, I would find negative 1 on the number line and circle it. Again, it doesn't say equal, so I'm going to leave that open. And less than, the numbers that are smaller go towards the left. For x is less than or equal to 8, I'm going to find on my number line the number 8, but this time because it says equal, I'm going to shade that in. And now what I'm going to do is shade less than, because it says less, so we're going to go shading towards the left. And then for x is greater than negative 4, I'm going to circle negative 4. I'm not going to fill it in. And greater than, I'm going to shade towards the right, since my arrow points towards the right. I have a few more examples over here. If you want, pause the video right now and try these out, and then hit play and check your work. Hey, welcome back. Okay, if x is greater than or equal to 0, I'm going to shade in 0 and shade to the right for greater than. For x is less than or equal to 5, find that number 5 on your number line and shade it in. And we want to shade less than, which would be towards the left. Now, my x is on the wrong side here, so I highly recommend that you write, rewrite this so that you know which way your arrow is pointing, um, so you shade correctly. So notice how we are opening towards the 2 and pointing at the x. So really, this is saying x is less than 2. So I want to circle 2, leave it open, and now I know I need to shade to the left versus this way would have said to the right, but that's wrong because your x is on the wrong side. Um, so it's, it's just a little bit easier for your um, graphing if you keep that X on the left side and then your inequality symbol and the direction that you shade will always match. Again, I'm going to flip this around here. So if I flip my symbol around and my inequality around, it will read X is greater than or equal to negative 7. And greater than, we're going to shade to the right. Again, this one needs to be flipped around. So x is greater than negative 3. I'm going to circle it and leave it open, and then shade to the right. And then x is less than or equal to 6. I'm going to find 6 and shade it in. And then I'm going to shade to the left. 